Hey everyone, this is Miles Pro 88 again. This video, I'm just going to make a brief tour of my main computer here, my e machines desktop. It's a EL132102C. c It was initially a Walmart computer two years ago, actually. And basically, I've upgraded it and loaded Windows 8 on it last month. So it's good to go for, say, another two years. So be good for, say, four years. So basically this is just a tower here. Nothing special about it. it is a small form factor. The size of it compared to a set of keys. And pretty much it has Windows 8 on it. Fresh installation. Actually an upgrade really. From Windows 7 on premium 64 bit. It's a general overview of the start menu. A lot of basic applications. I do use the calendar. It's very useful. It syncs to your iPhone or anything else you really have your live account linked to or Hotmail. Just a quick view of the calendar there. It's very convenient as opposed to just writing things on a, a whiteboard calendar. Like if you type it in on your phone, it appears on your Windows calendar. Facebook, Twitter, that type of deal, Team Viewer. I do use Team Viewer for all my systems here, as well as remote monitoring for my phone. Barcode generator, I've been getting into using this a bit for social media. eBay, how stuff works, the IP. Jack of cars, I use this to keep track of the information about my car, the value of it, if I ever want to get rid of it. Invoice 360 is a program that creates invoices. I have that just in case I need to sell anything. Sort of working on bootstrapping a business, getting something together at least. Now the, the specs for this system, this is the, the stock 20 one inch monitor that came with it a few years ago. I don't know if you can see it. Windows 8 Pro 64 bit. 4 gigabytes dual channel DDR2. It would be better if it was DDR3, but can't have everything right now. The graphics, I didn't know in my last desk tour video exactly what the card was. It's a GeForce 210, 1 gigabyte. Very basic again just for a small form factor PC like this but it does give it DVI, VGA and HDMI out with audio. The hard drive is a 640 gig SATA drive nothing special, it's not very large by standards these days but you can still buy computers with less than that so I'm not going to complain really. DVD burner Realtek high definition audio, that's something I really want a computer as a high definition audio because you can manually configure it. I'd have to go to the control panel to get it on here because it doesn't auto start. And for that, pretty much just search it. Control. And there you go. And to get to that, pretty much hardware and sound. This is it here. I like having this because you can manually configure all your sound effects and everything. Equalizer, your own presets, ones that are made, different effects. You can't really see it with this phone. And your correction, you can see all your ports there. I manage them. Oh, just a basic view of everything. Network. I used to use uh, Ethernet connections for everything. Connecting to a router. Now everything's over Wi Fi. Using wireless end now. It's a lot more convenient than running cables all over. And this being a newer house, I don't exactly want to drill holes everywhere for cabling. So basically, this is it. 
backups are made onto this one terabyte iOmega drive using Kobe and Gravity. Pretty sure it's Gravity. And it's running as a service, it's not going to start up yet. I use CCleaner to maintain everything on the system. Clean the registry, all the basics, definitely that. Nothing special again. Defragler. Avidimux to edit videos. uTorrent. Office. See if I can get that back up. Here it is. It's the only task right now, but I haven't configured it yet because of the new laptop here. But otherwise, I do it over the network. That also backs up to the drive here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There it is connected to this Samsung printer scanner photocopier here. Over USB because I don't have one with Wi Fi yet. I also store, throw one more thing in there. I do store a lot of my videos on this system too. Entire library of videos. There's about it doesn't seem like it because they're all in subfolders here, but there's about 500 gigabytes saved on this drive and other various locations throughout the network here. Pictures, music, documents, all that type of thing. Operating systems, I keep a library on here too. And on my backup and the notebook here. And that's pretty much it for this computer. Make sure to check out my other videos. I'm starting to make more now. Because I haven't had much time the last few months. Pretty much last year. So be sure to check back. Thanks for watching.